In the non-randomized arm, um, the data are more mature with a median follow-up of a little over 12 months. And we found um, the overall response rate was uh, 36 percent. Uh, and notably, there was an impressive 12 percent complete response rate. The disease control rate was about 71 percent. Um, and um, in the randomized phase of the study, um, the primary endpoint was progression-free survival. And we did find that the combination of atezolizumab and bevacizumab resulted in a significant improvement in progression-free survival compared to atezolizumab monotherapy. The hazard ratio is 0.55, the p-value is 0.01. And so that translates to a 45% reduction in the risk of progression or death with the combination compared to atezolizumab monotherapy.